The National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library presents Folklife 101, a web series that teaches about folk and traditional arts. Episode 2, What People Say. Before anyone knew how to read and write, and before the birth of things like the printing press, oral traditions carried our society. Storytellers have played a vital role in our world. Historically, in many communities, their role was as important as that of a doctor. The Brothers Grimm were two of the most famous folklorists in the world, and they collected many folk and fairy tales that we know now. What makes folk tales distinct is that they are fictitious, often set in the distant past, and were used purely for entertainment. This example of a Slovak folk tale shows many traits of folk tales. We often call those motifs. Princes and princesses are definitely one of those motifs. Fairy tales, like folk tales, are often oral, but sometimes are written, and they usually feature many magical elements. Legends like the Golem of Prague are very famous, and people even travel to see the sight of these types of legends. Urban legends are more contemporary and often reflect people's anxieties. One example is Lady Midday, which is still spread around Slavic countries. Urban legends may reflect anxieties, but proverbs often teach values. This is an example from up in Tabor, South Dakota. Folk songs, like this one here, Slovinsky and Mamichki, are part of oral tradition, but they also intersect with other forms of folk life. And of course, let's not forget about Czech humor, like this example of a pun at Wilbur, Nebraska. This has been an episode of Folk Life 101, created and produced by Nick Hartman in the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library. For more information about the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library, visit our website at www.ncsml.org.